Guys, my name is Ankush Kaurav and I welcome you to Gone To series. In the earlier tutorials, we learned the concept of one-to-one -one mapping in detail. Now we're going to learn the concept of a many-to-one -one mapping in a Hibernate application. Before I go and hit demo, let's see what exactly is a many-to-one -one mapping between two tables in a database. Table A is said to have a many to one relationship with table B if many records which are present in table A can be linked to a single record which is present in table B. And table B is said to have a one to many relationship with table A if a single record in table B is linked to zero, one or many records which are present in table A. Say you have two tables in the database, student and student address. Clearly, many records in the student table are linked to a single record in the student address table. So, student is having a many to one relationship with student address table. And student address is having a one to many relationship with student table. And this is the mapping column. What it means is, just by looking at this column, you are able to figure out which record of student table is linked to which record of student address table. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to establish the same relationship at Java code level using a many to one mapping concept. I've already created these two tables in my database. So let's have a look at them. Here, student address table is having two columns address ID and address detail columns and student table is having three columns student ID student name and student address address ID columns here this column will only accept the values which are present in address ID column of student address table so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to establish the exact relationship which we just established at the database level between student and student address tables at the Java code level in the Hibernate classes. Just to save some time, I've already created a very simple demo doing it. Here, I've created a student class which is representing the student table. A student address class which is representing the student address table and a main class where I'll simply write code to test this application. So now I have two Java classes which are representing two database tables, student and student address. Now only one pending task here is to specify that student class is having a many to one mapping or a relationship with student address class. And this we do with the help of a many to one annotation. For this, just add a reference of a student address class with its getters and setters methods here and on top of it, just mention a man to one annotation and you are done. So with this annotation, what I'm telling Hibernate is just include a column with the name student address address ID name in the student class having a man to one mapping with address ID column, which is present in the student address class. Let's test this application. Just to save some time, I've already written a test class for it. Here I'm first creating a student address object, then creating two student objects, and in two student objects, I'm assigning the reference of student address object. And these are the magic lines. Here, I've just written code for inserting two student objects into the student table. But when you run the application, Hibernate will first insert a student address object into the student address table. And then it will insert these two student objects into the student table. While inserting records into the student table, it will itself take care of mapping the student records with the linked student address record. That is, it will automatically use the value of address ID, which it generated for the student address object while inserting a record into the student address table for the student address address ID column of student objects. Here, 
Hibernate is able to perform this mapping task itself only because you have told it to do so by establishing a many to one mapping in the student class. Let's run and check this. Yes, Hibernate has inserted a record into the student address table and also two records into the student table. In the next tutorial, we will learn the concept of a bidirectional many to one, one to many mapping in a Hibernate application. Guys, a big thank you for liking my tutorials on Hibernate. I welcome all your queries, comments and feedback down the video or send me an email on this ID. Your any sort of interaction make me upload more and more videos so keep them up through comments, emails or sharing the information across. Like the video if you really liked it and I'm gonna catch you in my next tutorial.